both said three and it was just like oh my gosh injected into my veins like it was so freaking cute Hey guys, it's Shaney and welcome to another video of mine. And today we're going to be talking about The Bachelor episode 3 and 4. So episode 4 aired tonight and episode 3 was last week. So I just realized that I'm just going to be doing them like bi-weekly because I really do not want to have 13 videos all about The Bachelor. So I'm just going to be doing them bi-weekly and also each video I do I'll be talking about two episodes. And so let's. I'm just going to get right into it and just talk about last week's episode which was kind of like a hot mess honestly. Like it was kind of a bore. But then again, it was a mess because, like, we have Victoria just doing the absolute most. And then we have Sarah just acting like it's her show. So I just, like, I was just, I was just, like, what is going on right now? Because last time I checked, Matt was The Bachelor, not these other people. So why are they acting like it's their show? Okay, so last week, Serena P had her first, had the one-on-one. -on -one, and it was really cute. It was nice. I was like, aww. I could see her as a like a top contender like she could be like top four I could see that happening because they had a good connection and then we had um, a group date where the girls had to like write a erotic poem let me just say it like that they had to write an erotic poem but it was low-key a way for Chris Harrison to promote his book but I don't judge the hustle we love to see it so Sarah started feeling some kind of way because she's like girl you had a one-on-one -on -one last episode too she had her one-on-one -on -one, so I was like what are you doing? You know the type of show you came up and you signed up for. Like you know that he's gonna be having other connections with other girls and going out on dates with other girls. So I'm trying to figure out why you think that Matt is here for you and not other people as well. And Sarah decides that yeah she's gonna leave, uh, which I don't blame her because then the girls became bullies and it just didn't make any sense to me as to why you would be bullying a grown woman. Like how old are you? Like these ladies are all in their mid twenties or early. I know there's like a, a girl that's like in her early twenties and so like they're all grown women. So I'm like I'm trying to figure out why they felt like felt the need to put her down. Yes, I know what she did was kind of annoying, but like you don't do that, especially like when this is someone of your own age and she's grown like what like well, how old are you this is this is like literally high school behavior that the girls were doing like i understand she was acting kind of like but you don't you don't bully people like you don't do it was just a huge mob mentality and it was just disgusting honestly and so thankfully katie approached sarah and talked to her about it and like she just had a nice little conversation and long story short sarah did still go home she was like i think i need to go home like she's just not ready for she's not prepared for this type of situation and just this this whole environment is just not for her so she left and then actually there was another group date but literally a snooze fest and i'm just like yeah that what that was a bore but whatever I, I don't know what what was the highlight of that group day I really truly do not know I don't know these group days be boring ASL <laughs> ASL these group days be boring as heck uh, so five new girls came in it was Michelle Brittany Ryan Catalina and this other lady that I do not remember her name and they came in and the girls were not having it the girls were not having it. They were not having it. When I tell you, they became so rude. The, the, the animosity in the room was just like heavy. And I, I, don't, I didn't understand why they would be mad at the girls. First of all, it was the producers that did that, not the girls. They signed up the same time you signed up. They, they did the audition the same time you did the audition. It just happened that they came at the, a different date than you. So I didn't understand why they were so upset at the girls. It's not their fault. Be mad at the producers, not the girls. And don't be insulted. Right, poor and Kayla. My girl Kayla left. Uh, uh, my girl Kayla left. I can't believe Matt uh, kept Victoria. The cycle. I'm sorry, but I'm calling this a cycle because she's a cycle. Oh, she's sweet but a psycho. A little bit psycho. She's not even freaking sweet. She's horrible. Yeah. Freaking kept Victoria over Kayla. Kayla. Like, Kayla. Kayla. A whole pink team over Victoria. Victoria who looked like who did it and why. Like, I just didn't get that. And so, Shell, which is one of the new girls. I love her. Oh my gosh, I love her. I love her. First of all, from her limo entrance, she just felt so... She was just so calm. And she just felt like she knew why she was there. And the way she hugged Matt and the way, like, they just stared into each other's eyes. It was just like... 
that's the one to watch out for that's the one to beat that's the girl that's the girl that might, that might win so the way she just like I just love the way she carried herself in that first in her first entrance and then she got the uh, first the one-on-one -on -one date and when I tell you I have never seen two two strangers connect as quick as they did it was so natural it did not feel like they, they just met each other it was so natural like I, I will actually say that, that that was the first one-on-one -on -one date where I felt like I wasn't bored like that was the first one-on-one -on -one date that in this whole season that I really wasn't bored because like she really first of all she kept me on her, kept me on her toe on my toes because the way she, her her personality is she's funny she's smart and she's just carefree and so her and Matt was just why am I calling him Matt what is this her and Matt her and Matt were just vibing and I just loved it. They were just really, it was honestly the cutest day ever and they had their dinner portion and then she, Michelle talked about how what it means to be on what she how she's coping with this um, pandemic and being a teacher and what went on with what happened with George Floyd. It's honest, honestly they talked about racial issues and um what it means to be a uh, and um her being a teacher in the freaking pandemic and how she um she's helping her ch her kids and stuff like that and I was just like yes injected this is the second season that the bachelor is really like giving us what we want so giving us a social um, social injustice conversation racial issues conversation like I love it I like I'm, I'm living for it I don't understand why it's taking the bachelor franchise so long to like air um topics like that because now I, I'm I'm thankful this is their second season doing that. I love that and I just like can't wait to see more and I just feel like topics like topics like that definitely need to be heard, especially from a um, channel like ABC. So yes, inject it. I love it. I love I love Michelle and I just pray that Matt has good enough sense to know that that is the woman for him. I just pray that that like I just pray oh I don't want to get my hopes up, y'all. This is The Bachelor. Like, they've broken my heart so many times. I really do not want to get my hopes up. But yes, so, that's, honestly, that was just all for um, Bachelor episode 3 and 4. And, um, I was a, episode 4 was a good episode because of Michelle. I'm going to say that right now. That her one-on-one -on -one just really, like, set the tone for the season. It set the tone for the episode. It set the tone. Just, like, it, it just, the one-on-one -on -one just made me really happy and I loved it. So, yeah, that was that episode. And, um, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you like and subscribe and um, follow me on Instagram at it's me Shaney and um, God bless you.